Hey guys, welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I also wanted to review one of the new YSL mini clutch eyeshadow palettes. This one is in the shade 500 and a lot of you wanted to see this one in particular on my YouTube channel. I've had it for a month and I've used it only for the past couple of weeks. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this palette, but I really love the formula of these new YSL eyeshadow palettes. I have three more and then we have a very promising new product that i think might be a game changer for this summer and this is a mineral drops with spf 50 i'm going to tell you more in a minute and i have a few other products that are quite new to me so let's go ahead and get started if you're new here and you enjoy beauty talks uh, take a moment to subscribe i would love to welcome you to our beauty community and if you're returning welcome back dear friends Please let us know if you've already tried any of the products that I'm going to be using in this video. I want to know what's your opinion and what was your experience with these products because this helps us a lot. Now I'm going to take my hair back out of the way and then let's go ahead and get started. So right now I don't have anything on my face except from serum and eye cream. I'm going to make sure to list everything in the description box. The first product that I want to try is from Odacite and this is a new, this brand is new to me actually. It's based in California and this is their new SPF 50 Mineral Drops Tinted Sunscreen and it was a very, it, impressive product. I saw it online and I was immediately, it attracted my attention because this is supposed to be a skincare and SPF all at the same time um, that is going to perfect the skin. It contains niacinamide, green tea and chamomile which means that it's going to be great for sensitive skin. So I'm going to just read a little bit of the box. I'm going to show you the box. I'm going to zoom in the ingredients but this is a very, it's, it looked like a very promising product to me. Audacité is a clean beauty brand. I've read a little bit about their history. This is the very first product that I'm trying from the brand. This product is available in five different shades. I decided to choose the shade 01, which might be a little bit paler for my skin tone because I'm spending time um, at in south of France lately and um, I'm having some color. So I'm not with my usual winter color. On the box it says that this is a tinted SPF UVA UVB mineral sunscreen with triple action formula, acts like skincare, shields, like high protection sun care and delivers beautiful complexion correcting coverage. Sun. Five flex perfecting shades utilize unique color adapting pigments that blend immediately delivering a natural feels just like your skin finish that you will want to wear every day. I'm all about the sunscreen especially in the summer season and even though I use a dedicated SPF I don't mind a such product that is like a tinted moisturizer slash foundational light product that is going to give me color and that has SPF 50. This is something that I always look forward to try. And it says also this velvety light hydrating formula also offers the highest PA++++ protection against aging effects of the sun. Now for those of you who are not familiar, PA stands for protection grade of UVA. So when you see on a product PA plus ratings, these are ratings that measure the product's ability to block UVA rays. So you're going to see usually this on, on sunscreens, you're usually going to see SPF 50, PA++++ or PA++++. Now here we can see that we have the highest possible protection because usually most of the, most of the sunscreens that I use, um, they only have three pluses. So this one has four pluses and the active ingredient here is zinc oxide 12%. It's Excellent. Also, I forgot to mention that this product also protects from blue light, which is fantastic. This is like, it almost ticks all the boxes. I only hope that it's going to look beautiful on the skin as well. Now, usually with this kind of products, this is absolutely capable to protect you and to, to offer you SPF 50 if you apply enough. It all depends on how much you're going to apply. So today I'm going to test it on half of my face with SPF on the other half of my face without SPF. Usually if I'm spending a lot of time outside, I'm going to go in with a dedicated SPF and then uh, if I only stay at home and I want, um, you know, just to look good and put together or I'm going to spend the whole day in the office, I 
might not wear a dedicated SPF, I might just wear this one. I'm going to be using a sunscreen that has been recommended to me by a lot of you. This is the Facial Moisturizing Lotion for normal to dry skin. It's by CeraVe and this one contains ceramides as well. It's SPF 30. I have been using it in the past um, couple of weeks. I really like it. I'm going to apply it only on this side of my face though because I want to test the product also without the um, sunscreen and with sunscreen. Now uh, I really like the CeraVe. It, you can see that it completely disappears into the skin. It feels great. And I think that it's suitable for all skin types, except oily. So it's going to be best for normal to dry skin, it says on the box. To be honest, I actually like it a lot. I think that this is one of my favorite sunscreens that I've tried so far. It is quite affordable, it has great blend of ingredients and it's gorgeous. So this one has color adapting pigments. This is the first time that I'm using it and it looks quite pale for me. So if you have my winter skin tone, number one is going to be great. But if you are deeper than me, I think that for now I will have to buy number two. Because this one is going to be too pale for my skin tone. It's going to match my neck though. My neck is always paler. So let me see how, so let me go ahead and see, I didn't see on the box um, recommended way of applying this product, but I'm going to go in with my fingers and maybe then use a beauty blender to push the product into the skin. Okay guys, so this is with half of my face done and I am in love with the finish of the product. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if the camera is going to be friendly to this product. Usually camera is not friendly to lightweight products. I can definitely say that it has a light coverage. I applied enough. Now the one thing that I'm seeing is definitely I will need the shade number two, but this is going to be like my perfect winter shade and I know that for the winter this is going to be excellent. It says that it's um, especially suitable for people with mature skin and I can see that because it blended beautifully into my skin. It does not, I'm actually going to keep applying this also on the other side, the side with the CeraVe. I see that it doesn't um, emphasize any of my pores or imperfections. It doesn't settle into fine lines. Um, it just blends beautifully. It does take a little bit of blending though. So, but I can absolutely apply this one with my fingers. And I suppose that if I use a beauty blender, this is just a dry sponge beauty blender. I suppose that with the beauty blender it's going to be even more beautiful. Let's try that. Okay guys and this is what we have for now and I would say that this product actually ticks all the boxes for me. It looks so beautiful on my skin. The glow that it gives me, it, this is not, my skin doesn't look oily but it looks naturally glowy and the finish is beautiful. It just sunk into my skin so beautifully, it doesn't sit on top of my skin. Now the only issue, do not be misled by the fact here that it's, it's definitely right now it's paler than my skin tone. I want to swatch this one next to my Chanel Numero 1 de Chanel foundation because I have a feeling that this one is paler than my Chanel um, B10 foundation. Yes, it is paler. So for now I still can use Chanel's B10. Chanel's foundations in the shade B10 are 
darker they are like a shade darker than this one i want to test it and see how it's going to wear during the day i'm going to wear it for a week and if i like it i'm going to buy the shade number two as well because this there is no way this is going to work for me it's even paler than my neck right now well finally we have a product that is actually too pale for my skin tone i never thought that this was going to happen but we have a product that is actually too pale for me um, anyways, I love the finish. We're going to see how this is going to look during the day. I'm thinking if you have oily skin, this might not be the best one for you or you will have to use some good amount of powder. I'm actually going to use some powder now. I'm going to use some Lumiere loose powder now because um, it has color and this is going to help to bring back some of the color on my face. Okay, so even after the powder, my skin still looks beautiful and it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look heavy. I think that this is a beautiful product. If that's what you're looking for, I'm going to update you in one of my next videos because I'm going to wear it for a week before actually purchasing another shade, but I will definitely need the shade number two. And then we are moving on to the other very exciting product of this video, and this is the YSL eyeshadow palette in the shade 500. It doesn't say the name here, but I'm going to write it on the screen. I don't remember what was the, what was the name. Was it Medina Glow or I'm not really sure, but it comes in this very soft rosy colors. It's almost like rosy blush colors. The top two colors are shimmery. When I touch them, uh, they feel quite powdery. So I've already used um, a couple of these YSL eyeshadow palettes and these shimmery colors, they feel very nice actually. They almost feel like, hmm, I can compare them to, you know, this kind of a strange feel that you get when you touch the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. They have some skincare ingredients here. You just have to press. You can see how much of a pigment I get. And I find that the top two colors work best if I just um, tap them with my fingers on my eyelid. But I find that I prefer to use them with a little bit of concealer on my eyelids or with a little bit of primer on my eyelids just because they are very light, almost like stardust. And then the bottom two colors are matte, but they are not completely flat matte. They are almost have some very light, undetectable sheen. They don't have shimmers, but they have very sophisticated sheen. I love this eyeshadow palettes and I can't wait for, for my other two palettes to arrive. The other one that I have been using a lot is number 600, but I've already shown this one in one of my previous videos and I'm going to link the video in the description box so that you can see also how this one looks. I like both. I'm going to start with this light I would call it a blush color. Now, as I mentioned, a blush color, you know what? I'm actually going to try and use this one on my cheeks today because you can see that I get the color immediately on my eyelid. These are just blend very easily and I hope that they are going to be permanent. I still don't have information, but as far as I know, this are actually going to be permanent. I'm going to get a smaller brush and a deeper shade. I'm going to apply the deeper shade close to the lash line. I have been using this palette a lot along with the other one and I really like them. I'm going to use now the palest shade. Okay guys, so this is with the mascara on and I applied a little bit of eyeliner just on the upper lash line, but I love how soft the look is. And I'm going to use a little bit of lipstick. For lips, I'm using one of my favorite summer shades, and this is Chanel's uh, 126 Season from the Rouge Coco Bloom line. And then uh, let's go ahead and try actually this color because I use 
I usually call this one like a blush color. Let's go ahead and try this on my cheeks. Nice as a blush as well. I may be wrong. Okay, let me know what you think. Maybe I need to blend a little bit. So um, it's highly pigmented and my skin is still a little bit wet um, from this product. It's not like, it's not powdery and I did not apply a lot of powder. So you can use this color as a blush if you want to, but you will have to apply powder first because you can see probably that it didn't blend so well. It's like somehow it's streaky here. I'm going to go ahead and fix that with a um, little bit of powder here. Okay guys, actually I think that I fixed that with some more powder. So it turns out that you can use this color here as a blush if you want to, but you need to have some powder first because otherwise you might find it difficult to blend because this is a matte color that is quite pigmented and if you apply it on wet face, like if you have applied foundation and you don't have powder, it might be a little bit challenging to blend it and it's um, it's not going to blend seamlessly and you'll have to end up having to fix that like I did. Now I have a new highlighter that I have never tried and this is one of the most um, loved highlighters. It is from Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez and this is Enlighten. This is the shade that I have chosen. I have never tried this highlighter before so I'm going to try it together with you. I love the packaging. I love the sheen of the highlighter. So I'm going to show you. It's very soft, buttery. You can see how beautifully it swatches and this is the palest shade. I'm going to Go ahead and use it. I pick up a lot of products. So I'm going to take it right here on my hand. Let's try and see. I have heard a lot of positive reviews about this highlighter and I think I agree. It looks beautiful. Let me know if you've tried these highlighters, but I am... Wow. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think that the pink one, there is one that is a little bit more pinkish. I think that the pinkish one is going to look a little bit more natural now, but also this one is lovely. And if you have like this kind of a snow white skin, if you have very pale skin, I think that this shade in particular is going to be great for my skin tone in the winter months because this is exactly how my skin gets very, very pale. And I usually crave this kind of pearly white highlighter. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the bronzer stick. This is again a favorite. This is from Selena Gomez again. I'm just going to dot it here. I'm going to tap with a brush. My whole idea here is just to bring a little bit of color to my face. Okay, I'm going to use it also a little bit on the sides of my nose, a little bit on my nose. This one is beautiful because it can be used also on top of powder. It can be used with fingertips and it's um, like one of my current favorite products. I think that this is going to be my finished look. I actually really like it. Now I have to say about this new Mineral Drops SPF 50. I'm very impressed with this product. I, I had high expectations and I really wanted to like this product once I read the ingredients of the product because it's really well formulated. This is exactly what I want from a formula. It is 30 ml. These are exactly the kind of ingredients that I look for, that I want. It's almost like it was created for me. So I really wanted to like this one and I'm very happy with the way it actually looks on the skin. Hey guys, I wanted to come here and check in. It's been seven hours since I first applied the mineral tinted 
sunscreen mineral drops wow i am i'm a little bit tired because i have been outside for three hours and it's so hot like you can't even imagine i i went out to see some friends and we had a meal outside outdoors but it was so hot it is 29 degrees celsius but at the same time it's humid so it doesn't really have like nothing moves like there is no wind there is no movement of the air so it is quite like humid even though it's 29 degrees celsius i'm gonna write here in fahrenheit not really sure and i am so impressed like i got some compliments for the way my skin looks and it really looks very very good i'm not sure probably the camera is going to show me as if i'm oily but i'm not oily I just have beautiful glow on my face. Now, um, if we have to be honest, I did apply considerable amount of powder, which is going to happen with any sunscreen. I usually don't use, like in the summer months, I usually use sunscreen, a lot of sunscreen, and then a lot of powder. This is my whole makeup routine during the summer months because I have combination skin and I live in a hot and humid climate. And the humidity i just need powder because i have combination skin now everything looks absolutely beautiful i i am very impressed because it's been like let me count yeah it's exactly around seven hours since i first applied this product yes considerable amount of powder if your skin is dry you might not need that amount of powder but i'm so happy that i could actually layer a good amount of powder here. The only thing that's changed in my makeup is that I have a stain from my Rouge Coco Bloom lipstick and then I reapplied. Um, this is a Sisley Le Fito Gloss, which is my favorite summer product. When I go outside, I always use this one because it shimmers so beautifully in the sunshine. And when the sun hits my lips, it just looks so beautiful and my lips look so much fuller. You know that I have thin lips so anything that can make them look a little bit fuller is welcome and I really 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 love this product. I have been raving about this product. It's a pearly white shade but I like it because I can layer it on top of colorful lipsticks and I can create different colors. Anyways if you have fuller lips than mine a pearly white shade alone is going to look beautiful but back to the mineral drops. I really like it. I don't know what's going to happen like in five, six more hours, but I'm not going to stay that much. I'm soon going to remove my makeup, but seven hours is absolutely enough for me for this initial test. Everything looks so beautiful. I'm going to zoom in my skin and you're going to see my skin is not oily. I think that this product is suitable for all skin types, except if you are in your early 20s and you are oily, you might find that this is going to be too oily for you. It says that it's suitable on the box. It says that it's suitable for all skin types, especially mature skin. I agree with that. I'm 37 years old with combination skin. It survives with good amount of powder. It survived the hot and humid climate of me staying in the sunshine. It survived well. Um, my skin did not get irritated. Everything looks good. My skin feels so calm and this doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So I really like it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I always appreciate it so much and I know how valuable time is. So I always appreciate it when you take the time to watch my videos. Until next time. Bye.